Yes. I wanted to talk to you, Brenda and I, a little while about our vision, the vision of the church, which is reaching the lost, healing the hurting, and maturing the believer. That's really what we're all about. That's right. And right around this time, every year, we have something we call the joy of generosity. And we want to share just a few moments with you this morning on all that the Lord has done in and through the church, That's all right. that the Lord has done in and through you. Yes. I love this quote of generosity. It says, a generous lifestyle is where we realize just how greatly we have been blessed by God. Amen. And in return, we seek to be just as great a blessing to others in his name. Praise God. Amen. Well, so we good. know that we are blessed to be a blessing. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we've decided even in the midst of this pandemic not to hold back, not to hold back any of the support that we give to several ministries throughout the month and that we give intermittently to others as the Lord directs mm -hmm. and as the Lord leads. So as a church, <laughs> praise God, think about this. As a church, our generosity has been expressed by supporting 24 ministries and mission endeavors worldwide. That's and great. you can see some of those up on the screen. Awesome. Uh, you'll be able to also see this announcement on the website as well as the slides yes. uh, sometime this week. But just look at all those ministries that we've been able to support. Praise God. That's great. Mutual Faith Ministries, Reverend Keith Hershey. Yes, yes, yes. Mark Hankins Ministries, Tony Cook Ministries, mm -hmm. Ottermost Ministries in Samoa, Joe Hernandez Ministries in the Middle East, wow. and then a, a host of others, Faith Life Church. Yeah. That's Keith Moore's ministry. We were able to participate in a great offering for churches that have gotten behind and churches that have been struggling. So folks, we have been supporting others. And how many of you know, when you support others, you will be supported. Amen. God said, I will never fail you yeah. or leave you without support. Blessed to be a blessing. That's right. That's so we <laughs> want to take just a little time to look at 2020 in review. Uh, for example, Church Online, uh, we've had... Uh, 32 services from mid-March to the end of June. Two services pre-recorded on-site each week for our Sunday and Wednesday and p.m. services. You can see up there. As far as in-person services in July, um, we had two in July and three in November. Mm -hmm. And then 12 outdoor services. July 19th to the October 25th, we had 12 outdoors. Wow. And so... What a great blessing yeah. all those people have been that have made that possible. Yes, we wanted to mention that. We wanted to say thank you to our staff yes. and a team of volunteers that worked so diligently yeah. so we could have those services. Whether it was in person or outdoors, there was all these CDC protocols. They had to install hand sanitizers in the sanctuary. Yeah. The chairs had to be social distanced. Temperatures had to be taken. It really took yeah. a major team, and many of you served on those teams. And we want to say a hearty thank you so yeah. much yeah. for doing that. All of you that came early and set up outdoors, it yeah. just was such a blessing. And we know we're going to be able to meet soon and very yeah. soon That's right. in person again. That's Praise what God. we're believing. It's a lot of Zoom meetings among the pastoral staff. I mean, yes. not just a couple hours, but hours upon hours upon hours. Yes. And we are so very thankful for all of your diligence and for believing in the vision. Praise God. Also, we are so thankful for our very own Pastor Nancy and the visitation team contacting the members through this pandemic season with phone calls. Pastor Nancy and the team have just such a wonderful job. Yes. They've called members twice in the last few months, and uh, many, many were contacted and were prayed for and were encouraged. I know. What a blessing. Yeah, absolutely. You know, in this season, it's all about remaining connected. It is. First of all, connected to Christ yes. and connected to one another, yes. whether it be online or in our outdoor service or in our indoor services. Yeah, Connection yeah. is so very yeah. vital. Yeah. And the spirit of encouragement has been flowing so wonderfully 
through our members, and we are so very thankful for that. Praise yes, God. For sure. Also, we've been doing something called the Facebook Prayer Encounter. Facebook Prayer Encounter. Jane counted that up for us since this pandemic began. We've had 80 prayer meetings wow. since we launched that in, on May 4th. We do it pretty much every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at noon. Again, many of you have joined and offered your support and your supply in prayer, and we know yes. that powerful, purposeful prayer. It's making a difference. Yes, Don't it is. ever doubt for a moment that God doesn't yeah. hear and answer prayers and that our prayers don't change things. Yes. It's working in the name of Jesus and we're so happy that we've been able to yes. pray in this fashion Amen. together. And other things that have happened online as well, uh, our 180 youth group, they've been able to have bi-weekly Zoom gatherings. They launched this in August for our youth and it includes a lot of videos, devotionals and group discussions. We've also had something called Kids Church at Home, which is a Bible app for kids. It's got a lot of fun episodes that have been streamed and downloaded. They help our kids fall in love with God. It's also been a special resource for parents. So we are remaining a family church. There's something here for every single man, member of your family. If it's not in person, we're doing it That's right. online. And then this is another way that That's we've right. been able to be a blessing to our community and some of our families in church, but mostly it's been outside folks in the community. Grocery giveaway, it started way back in mid-April, and we have like an average of 25 families per wow, week that's wonderful. that receive these wonderful items. Many of them have been able to be prayed for, and some are even saying, you know, they're now watching our services mm -hmm. online. If you feed them and you bless them in that way, it's showing the love of God, and then yeah. they, they're touched by that. And so that is our heart here. And even last Friday, uh, we were able to give away groceries to 30 families. Wow. And I mean a lot of groceries. They picked up like five bags of Thanksgiving food along with some fresh fruit and vegetables as well. And then also every family that came on Friday received at least one $25 gift card to one of the local uh, grocery stores where they yes. can go buy their own turkey or whatever Amen. meat of their choice. A what big a thank you to Cindy Walters yes, and the team, yeah. just so faithful. Yeah. That's just Ryan, a wonderful. Caleb. That's a way to, to heal. That's yeah, a way to yeah. bless. And that's a way to reach people. Praise Amen. God. For sure. Then just some details about our website and church app. These are numbers are just amazing. Yes. On our website, we've yes. had over 26,000 sessions. In our YouTube views, we've had over 30,000 views. Yeah. Our Vimeo views, over 1,000 views. Wonderful. And our Facebook views, 764. So that, again, mm -hmm. is a way to reach out and yeah. a way to minister yes. and a way to yes. be a yes. blessing. Yes. Now, our church app has had over 5,300 media plays. Our app downloads have been 374. Our app launches have been 11,675. And we've had over 81,000 impressions. Praise God. Oh, wow. And then on iTunes, we've had over 51,000 visits from 48 different countries. Isn't that amazing? That is amazing. I mean, technology today and the mm. ability to reach out is such a blessing. We're reaching really people. Is. In the Philippines, we're yes. reaching people really yes. all over the world. Yeah. And to God be the glory. Yes, amen. And I have to say this, that our media project has been completed. And Pastor Tom and others have done such a Michelle. tremendous job, mm -hmm. Michelle, on mm -hmm. our media project. And some of the things that have been accomplished, we've got new state-of-the-art equipment. Mm -hmm. And we're getting, you know, bugs out, bugs out there. But it's really, really going well. On our video, we have two projectors with ceiling mounts. We've got five cameras now. Mm -hmm. All sorts of great things in that area in the equipment. We've That's got right. a complete broadcast and production system with PCs, audio, two soundboards along with auxiliary equipment. So praise God, we are well positioned, amen, That's right. to continue to reach not only people right here in our church, 
but all throughout the Bay Area, right. all throughout the United States and the world. Praise God. And we God. look good. In the, and <laughs> and, and it, we look a lot better, I think. We're not fuzzy. We look real clear. Oh, okay. The worship <laughs> team looks awesome. If they could just make us look younger, that'd be really good. Well, anyway. well we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And so we... Uh, this time of year, we set a, a goal. We call it the Joy of Generosity Goal. Yes. And so our goal from this Sunday morning through the end of the year, December 31st, is going to be $300,000. $300,000. And so what this will do, this will enable us, praise God, to reach where we need to be at the end of the year so that we can fulfill our covenant that we have with our lender. Mm -hmm. And we're so thankful and grateful. Actually, I think we're a little bit ahead of where we were last year awesome. at this time. Wow. Thank and you, Lord. Uh, so we're thankful for that. Yes. But we still have $300,000 to go. Mm -hmm. Amen. Nothing's too big and, for uh, our God. <laughs> and we, uh, we have released our faith. Yes. And we believe that the angels are working. They are. Bringing Amen. the money in. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And so all funds received between this morning, November 22nd, and December 31st for the general fund, building funds, will help us meet our debt coverage ratio for 2020, yes. which includes our building payment and will also enable us to give to various ministries and various causes. Praise yes, the Lord. Wonderful. Now, some of the ministries that we will be supporting, yes. uh, you know, at, during this time, and not all of them is the, the Lord's going to direct to give to others as well. But one will be Mutual Faith Ministries, yeah. Joe Hernandez Ministries over there in the Middle East, and then Raul Carissimo, one of our very own, um, who uh, is under Jim Caseman's uh, leadership with AFCM. They have several churches over there yes. in the Philippines. Yes. The Philippines is completely closed. I know. And so there's 17 pastors and 17 churches over there that we're going to help so that they can feed yeah, and distribute need, food, food. Uh, yeah. to their yeah. members. Yeah. Now, we're not going to be able to fulfill the whole budget for that ministry, but we're going to do our very best yeah, to sow a great seed. Yeah. And then locally, we're going to give to Hope for the Heart. This is a feeding uh, group over here in Hayward. And they've been a real blessing yeah. to our church and community during this season. They're part of the resource that we've been able to yeah. utilize in giving our uh, grocery giveaway. So yeah. we want to bless them. And then City Team Oakland, which is a men's ministry, we have given to them uh, the last couple of years. And yes. so you just believe God with us. Praise the Lord for Amen. this $300,000. Amen. And we are just going to sow and support others as the Lord yes. directs. Amen. 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 So now, over and above, all funds received over and above our goal will go toward our general fund and or our building fund. Praise the Lord. Amen. And so I'm excited. I am too. I'm excited about the rest of this year. I'm excited about all the people being able to come back together yes. and have glorious indoor Amen. services. Amen. But I'm really ex excited about dispensing good to others. Yes. We are yes. dispensers of good. We are. And I'm going to talk a little while about that today. Mm -hmm. But that's what it's all about. It is. You know, the Bible says if you give, it'll Amen. be given unto you. Amen. Good measure, pressed down. Shaken together, together and running over, running over. shall like men that, give to your we? bosom. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. God. <laughs> Amen. Any other comments you'd like to make, sweetheart? Well, God is good. Amen. Yeah. God's good and God is faithful. And we thank you for your faithfulness yes. this entire year. Thank God the Bible says that a faithful man will abound with blessings. And not only are we believing for this 300,000 to come in, to heart of the bay, but we are believing with you for overflow yeah. in your family and in your individual lives, that your storehouses would be blessed. Those of you that need jobs, that you would have a better job yeah. come to you. Come on. Get raises on your jobs, unexpected income coming your Lord. way. We know your heart. The people here at Heart of the Bay, you are a given church. You yeah. are giving people. And when you have a heart mm -hmm. like that, God's going to bless you. That's right. Because we say it all the time here. We are blessed 
to be a blessing. Amen. So we're in agreement with Glory you for the God. blessings of the Lord Hallelujah. to overtake your household amen. by the end of this year Praise and into the next Lord. year yes, in amen. Jesus' name. Amen. So whatever he says to you, do yeah, it. Praise that's God. Right. Let's amen. pray for the people right now. Yes, Lord, we thank you, thank you Lord. for blessing them yes, and causing Lord. them to be even a greater blessing thank you, Lord during this Jesus. time. Thank you, Lord, for all the the benefits that you've given us yes, as a church thank you, and Lord. your ability, glory to God, the Lord. to support others. And we glorify yes. you in Jesus' name. Jesus Praise the name. Lord.